What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Minecraft LP. We are on the 13th episode now. So, as you can see by the title today, we are building a mob spawner. So I have collected quite a few things here. Um, trying to make sure I don't have anything missing that I need. I think. So, this is everything, so. I've actually started making kind of the, the little area and starting to form it out. So you can see when I get down here. So we're putting it down in this spot, which is kind of, that place is how we go to our XP farm. But we'll also use this as an XP farm as the plan, but we want this to be also an AFK mob farm. And you can kind of hear the, the animals. So this is kind of where the space that it's at, as the animals. But as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty quick to get down to. But, um, here, I need to put these chests up here, with all the loot, and then I also needed to make a little water source right there. And then uh, we'll go ahead and put this chest right here. because there's going to be a whole lot of blocks from my inventory, so we kind of want to make sure that we have space to pick up new stuff. So, as you can see, yeah, I've begun uh, with the shape here, and so what this means is that now this area that we're in is going to be kind of right above a very big cave, which I think I've shown you all before. I think it was it was at the end of the the cozy potion lab uh, episode, um, but essentially like we're right above that, so we might have to use a whole lot of blocks to kind of uh, finish the spawner out. If that makes sense, because that's going to be such a massive space. But essentially, yeah, the goal that I have envisioned for this project is that not only can it be used as an AFK farm, so like I can you know you know, go to class or whatever, and then have it be where my character sits here, and then we collect mob drops. But I would also like to set up a little redstone system where we can flip that on and off so that um, they're either gonna die, and then, you know, we collect their, their loot, or we use it as an XP farm. And you know, we can farm, and then obviously, you know, using looting on the creepers too is, is very nice, so it's a way to get more, more gunpowder, obviously, which is what we need for our little base. And speaking of that, um, the place where we're actually gonna make that big hole is gonna be, I mean, this is gonna be part of it, so once we end up blowing up the hole, this is gonna get destroyed along with this. This is only temporary for the time being. But speaking of which, I also need signs, or I will need signs to go around this, which is why I had so many, but I'm going to continue digging out these layers, and then I will continue to uh, show you all kind of the idea and the placing of where everything's going to have to go so that we can make this water as efficient as possible. I've been doing quite a bit of digging. We have now four layers. One, two, three, four layers for our mob farm and we're just gonna we're just gonna keep going we want to make as many layers as possible um, just because you know we need a lot of gunpowder and I don't want to have to get all of that gunpowder by uh, just farming it you know I want to be able to AFK and get significant drops and the other thing is that we have no idea how efficient this thing is gonna be you know I don't know if uh, it's gonna work as well because that's really gonna de depend on how well I ended up torching. I've used at least a couple of inventory, of, at least an inventory of torches um, around the caves and around the islands, uh, like we did in last episode. You know, getting the whole island lit up. So it's it's a big question on how efficient we can get this to be. With that being said, you know we don't want to uh, just have uh, you know like no layers. So we need to make quite a few layers of this farm that way it can be efficient and we can get plenty of drops regardless of its level of efficiency and 
And so then in addition to that, we're also going to have to make, uh, it might take a bit of testing to get right, because I'll have to look up how many blocks each mob can fall without uh, dying, because we want to go one less for a farm, and then we'll have to make a drop-off point um, past that, where the, where the, uh, where the sticky pistons are going to hold together the um, blocks that will have the mobs sitting on them. And so then, what I think would work best is that while those mobs, you know, if they're sitting there for the purpose of being killed for an XP farm, right, uh, what we'll do is we won't have any hoppers there because we'll need the blocks, obviously, for them to stand on with sticky pistons. And then when they drop down and, you know, we pull back on the the sticky pistons and they pull back the blocks for the purpose of making the farm um, like an AFK farm so that they will die as soon as they fall down. Then at that point, we'll have hoppers below there and all the loot can fall in there. And I, I think it should be fine for, you know, XP purposes. I won't lose any XP. And then we'll just have to make it go down. Uh, the question is, um, it'll be kind of odd if this whole space is going to be up in the middle of the air of the big cave. I mean, it's a it's a ginormous cave. So, yeah. I mean, hopefully we don't have to spend too much time to make it look nice. Or to really have to get in there and... You know, just construct something from the ground up in that cave because I kind of wanted this to be easy. Um, plus, this is kind of going to be like a f like a part of the spot where our our big TNT hole is going to be. So, you know, I don't want to make so many blocks there that it ends up being uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. That you know, we end up destroying it all in a few episodes anyway however soon it is until we TNT the whole place up but anyway we're just going to keep digging around and making some some more layers to the farm and uh, in addition to that I can't remember if it makes a difference if you use signs or trap doors because uh, if you just leave it blank no mobs are going to fall through I'm pretty sure based on how Mojang codes the AI so what I need to do I need to is I'm, I'm gonna have a bunch of trapdoors is what I think I'm gonna do but just in case I'll have signs ready and then we're gonna have to test this thing a couple times to see if mobs truly are falling through with trapdoors that are open because I think they'll detect that's a block and they'll walk over it and fall into our farm so three four five six seven eight okay nice so yeah I'm not sure how many more layers I'm gonna do of this and in fact you know what, I think we might figure that out right now. Um, let's try just going down, because for the mobs to fall, I mean, when we were killing them in an XP farm, even then we want them to all be like one health, because it'll save, you know, XP. As you can see, we have finished all of the building of the layers. I decided on doing six layers, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I already put in the water, and so, this is going to be the drop-off point, and we're going to have to dig down 22 blocks from here. But first, before we do that, we're going to have to do uh, a little more work just so that the, uh, the spawner actually operates efficiently and correctly. So the first thing is that we have to put these slabs down, and that's to prevent spiders from spawning. You don't want spiders because it might clog that up, being only a 2x2. Two two. And the second thing we have to do is we have to make a lot, and I mean a lot, a whole lot of trapdoors because that is how you keep or that is how you allow the mobs to fall through and so there are gonna have to be oh I'm gonna need a whole lot of wood I didn't even think about how much I might need so as you can see yeah yeah I'm gonna need a whole lot more wood I'll probably end up getting some birch wood because I don't have any really big plans for birch wood but but anyway, as you can see, this is what we have to do um, first, is we need to get everything, and then you obviously open it all up, like that. So, so this work has to be done 
just so that we can ensure no spiders and that we can get mobs uh, to fall. And so after that, we're going to have to go down there, um, dig a little path down to the to the end, which should be 22 blocks. And if not, we can always raise it just about finished up with the trapdoors and the slabs. We just have a little bit more work to do, but we're just about there. So I figured it's nice for me to show you all at least like partially some of the stuff and some of the time that I spend making it like right now instead of just like saying okay I'm gonna do this cut it's done so you all can see me do at least a little bit of it um, I figure I figure you all appreciate that so uh, anyway just about finished here and so the reason why I haven't taken off the torches yet is because we obviously have to go down and figure out where this um, XP farm slash AFK farm is going to uh, reside. And what I mean, what I mean by that is the place where you know it's actually gonna. Excuse me, the place where it actually is like coordinates-wise, and so I don't want to be digging around and digging down, uh, trying to figure out how deep do I need to go, um, and then get a million mobs, creepers, all on my face. So. That is why we're doing that. Anyway, it looks like we have just about finished this up. Nice. So now that we have this part of the AFK farm done, uh, I'm gonna leave that there because we need to come back. Obviously, but as you can see, we all have all of the layers done there. The water is set up, so mobs will now be able to fall in when they spawn. So we're all good on that, and so now we need to go down 20 blocks, I believe. So we are at 1, 2, 3, okay, well, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, okay, this one's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Essentially, I'm going to be digging around, and when I figure out, you know, if this is in the, the big old cave or not, because I, I think it's a little too high, it'll be a little higher than the cave, because the cave is partially, like, deep slate, like the floor, so that would be, like, another 40 blocks down, so I don't think we're going to run into the big cave, which is good, because... I didn't want to have to build everything, I'd rather just dig it out. It is time to test and see if our spawner works. So we are on the last layer here. We've got almost all of the torches out. I'm just going to clear these out. And then we're going to see if our spawner... Um, the thing I'm trying to test for is not if it works, it's that if we need to go higher or lower to get the mobs to one hit because we don't want them to be super tanky, and we also don't want them to die instantly either, because uh, if you can see kind of down there, I ended up digging out now a little space, so there's a little drop off by our chest that allows us to get to that place, and it allows us to, um, to go and farm the mobs and see all that stuff. And so we need to see if we need to raise that, that point or not. But other than that, it looks like we are ready to close this off. So hopefully it works because this took a long time to build. But anyway, and then of course, it's good that we keep it here um, just in case we need to come back. So I'm not going to cover up this place just yet, but we are going to do that. And then now it should be good to go. So the question is, will it work? Uh, but even if it doesn't, I have some redstone set up here, and as you can see, this is our drop-off point, so we're going to go ahead and go down, and this is the place where everything should be falling. Don't know if we can see any mobs in there yet, it might take a little while for some to start spawning, or we might have to go farther away, but, um, yeah, this is the place where we need the, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to double check and hope that that no uh, mobs come while I'm trying to set up the 
these pistons. There we go. Oh wait, I made them too far out. So what we need to do is we now need to get these pistons to work. All right, please no mobs fall. That's why I have glass set up, is so that when I'm farming them, they're not gonna be so in my face. So, um, anyway, yeah, you might have to AFK for a little while for this to work, but okay, that should be good to go. And so then for now, I think I'll just block this up and uh, hope that nothing falls for now, because it looks like it'll take a second to work. But regardless of that, uh, what we need to do is we need to connect these. So I had to run up and get some more redstone, but essentially, um, oh, okay, we have a zombie. I actually did check though the farm to see how it was doing, and it looks like we got it right. So if they fall on this side where there is no, that one block is making the difference. So that's good. And then we also figured out how to make this work. So that's why I had to go get some more redstone is because um, I got the system working. They alternate, boom, it works. So I got some more redstone so that I could uh, connect these two blocks right here. And so now that's what I have to do is first we have to get rid of this. And then I think the reason why it started working then was because I went up to my base and I started doing some work uh, just like getting redstone and that gave it enough time I guess to start spawning so hopefully that's what it is but it had a few mobs in there um, which is good that's what we want so then um, speaking of what we want we have to get this uh, to not hit that and then okay then we want this to to come down so we want it to go like this boom and then i need them both to connect i need some torches like that so let's see i need this to then feed into that okay perfect because then we need it to go down from the torch so so boom have it run right here and then by here it's definitely time for a repeater and then get some more redstone and then it should pull up right over here oh no ah, i keep forgetting about this water man but it looks like it's gonna work just fine uh the only place that you can't be obviously it seems is down here because then it's all they're all gonna go away for the most part but that zombie only dies because oh there's another one um the only reason they're dying is because i think um there isn't enough i'm not far away enough okay now it seems like it's starting to pick up pace uh, which is very good that's what we want that's what we want indeed so let's get this all sorted out so now that i've shown you all the redstone i'm not gonna kind of finish setting it up here so my friends as you can see we've gotten the spawner it looks like it's starting to work a little bit and it looks like it's perfectly set up so the zombies and every mob just dies pretty fast and so as you can see down so we'll make this look nice but essentially yeah, let's do that. Down equals XP. Up equals <clears throat> AFK. There we go. Got it to look nice. So then, you know, I don't want to do that, obviously. <laughs> unless I want to make that zombie suffer. But yeah, I got it to... Uh... Oh, let's block that up. And also... Okay, now we're good. So, as you can see, we have this all nice and blocked up. Now it actually looks pretty good. So, looks like it's still a little bit more work to do when it comes to torching up and also figuring out where I need to AFK for this to actually work properly. But um, essentially, we have a bunch of chests. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring 
bravely go in here. And then I'm gonna make the AFK stuff. So I have some hoppers and a little bit of chests. And so I'll bring you back once we have the uh, AFK chest system set up. So my friends, as you can see, I have created the little safe place for all of the mob drops to go in hoppers. The little place where when we AFK, all the loot will go in here. And uh, as you can see by my inventory, I have some things I need to empty out, but uh, we're pretty much ready to go with this thing. I mean, I just need to figure out how far away I'll need to stand for it to work. But other than that, this thing is ready to go. So you can see there are the hoppers. That is a guaranteed death for the mobs. And then of course, there are the blocks there. Or if we want to switch the mode. And so other than that, we are ready to let these guys through. Although, I don't know. I think there's just one skeleton there. Yep, and he's gonna die anyway. So, other than that though, we have this place all ready to go. So, I'll just have to figure out where I need to AFK, but other than that, we did it. We made a cool spawner, and it is it is pretty much gonna be fully functional uh, as soon as we get the, the AFK spot created. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed watching me create the spawner, and if you did, and if you did enjoy the episode, of course, I would really appreciate you leaving a like, subscribing, commenting, any feedback, and any support is greatly appreciated, and I really hope, I really hope that you did enjoy, and so I hope you have a great rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.